Dear Space Time viewers, welcome. In the last class, we completed Unit One Revision of Psychology. Yes, feeling energetic, right? We got completed with one unit of psychology. Yes, so maintain the same energy till the end. Now I don't want to bore you with. just going on with the flow second third fourth unit and fifth unit let's change the subject to have some more enthusiasm yes today we are going to start with a very favorite subject of many people that is english today we are going to start with english revision class the question is what is the importance of english language in global context it's that simple isn't it now i'm talking to you in english you're understanding english well it means that how in this only we can understand how important is english tell me one thing how do we communicate to the people using some medium of language right so that language will be of many types telugu hindi english tamil etc but why did english only become the global language let's know it today okay according to university grants commission we'll see that definition first what did it tell it tells that english language is rich in literature humanistic scientific and technical in the sentimental urges if we want to give up for english then it means like cutting off ourselves from the living stream of ever growing knowledge this is what a definition a single line definition given by university grants commission clear you want me to repeat again yeah i'll repeat it the definition given by university grants commission or yes commission yeah it gave us a definition what's that english is rich english language is rich in literature humanistic scientific and technical aspects okay and in sentimental urges if we have to give up to english then it means that we are cutting off ourselves from the live stream of ever growing knowledge do you think so is it right what do you think comment so now you understood what is the importance of language yes now according to that that is the definition but is it simply saying like that can't we see in many medias many periodicals many newspapers we are seeing this languages right we use it as a daily means like if you if at all we have to talk to someone if at all we have to make a record if at all we have to make the seminar if at all we have to present a document a project whatever it is yes international dealings international integrity media articles advertisement yes many things are associated with english that's the reason so not only this that is the first point yes what is that the definition is the first point and the second point is how we use english in our daily life yes from the morning till the end of the day 
how we use english and how it is important in order to communicate to a person to the international deal a to z is linked up with english and it is the best i mean the english is spoken in all these countries like uk usa canada and australia and it is called as a second language in another countries it is called a link language what it is called it is called a link language this is the second point then why is it having such demand that comes under the third point why is it having that demand shall i tell you 50% of news articles over 50% of scientific and technical periodicals and more than 60% of radio stations take the language of english as the main medium to communicate i'll repeat the statistics again 50% of news articles in the world and over 50% of scientific and technical periodicals and more than 60% of radio stations use english as a main medium to communicate the information so that's called the importance of english and the status which it have in english in uk or un united nations has a strongest status than any other languages like in any other four languages spoken the english is having the first strongest status why because out of four every one out of four will understand this english language every one out of four they can understand they can respond they can do everything english is like that medium that everybody can understand so that is called lingua franca what it is called lingua franca which means it can be commonly understood by everyone that's the reason i'm explaining you even now why we have many mediums but mostly what we hear is english medium which can be easily used and communicated why don't we have another languages even if you take the foreign languages into consideration why don't we don't we have another languages spanish france german italy britain why is only english at that opposition is that this is the reason as i told you before okay so that is called lingua franca which means it is commonly spoke by everyone okay now the another point from a small tv show to a program to a communication to a network for a experiments i mean the scientific technical communication and for international trade businesses etc whatever it is english stands at the top position and it is used like that so that is the importance of english in the world in a global context that's the reason it is spoken as a global language of the world is that clear this is isn't a such hard answer we can easily understand but remember the points that percentages and in which country it is spoken and why it is called as lingua franca and what is the definition given by ugc please remember these main key points which you have to write in exam everyone knows what is an importance of english but in which aspects are important how it is important it is needed to explain them right so that's the reason remember these points so this comes to the end of the first answer now let's go into the second answer